Hello, Cancer, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help you choose growth and the healing of your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for you today. We will look at your inner world as well as your outside world and the interaction between the two. So we're going to go left to right, altruism on the outside, six of roots, success, two of wands on the inside, three of cups, celebration on the inside, and the hermit on the outside. Interesting. So dark colors on the outside, this black background, and then lighter color on the inside. Okay, let's get into what's going on in the inner world here. Okay, Cancer, I'm feeling like recently you've had a, I want to say pretty substantial spiritual success. And you have had support for this success. Um, support kind of beyond what you ever dreamed you might have. This really a, a wonderful sense of community, a wonderful sense of people reaching out to help you in your mission, in your goal, and just being there for you. It's um, it's something that I feel we all crave as humans, and when it happens, it's very rare, it, it, but it's, it's just so joyful. So you've had this experience of people coming out to help you. Um, there's another part of you that's saying, okay, well now what? What next? What, what's my next step? What am I supposed to do next? There's also kind of that idea that this is perhaps something you've longed for for a long, <laughs> longed for for a long time. I'm doing great with the words today. Um, that you've been craving for a long time, the support of others, a community that understands you. And now that it's here, now what? You know, okay, well, okay, that feels great. Okay, next. So there's a sense of you're already looking to the future, past this moment, past this sense of gratitude. Now, when we look on the in, the outside, we've got the hermit, and we've got altruism. Okay. Now the hermit is looking for that higher truth and he's looking away from the altruism, which I think is interesting. So there's part of you that feels because you have received so much with this three of cups, the three of horns, you've received so much that now you're feeling like you have to give to others. And I feel as if it's going a bit overboard that you're actually wanting to overgive to others. And so this hermit card is trying to pull you back, trying to pull you back into, okay, you, you know, you don't need to do this. You need to always be in line with your inner self, your inner teacher. It's asking for a bit more introspection because this altruism card is kind of like giving everything away where, you, you know, you might be, as a, another, as a silly example, you might say, okay, well, I need to, quote, live a, a simpler life, a more spiritual life, and then you might give away every single possession you have. And that is not maybe what you need to do because there are some basic things that maybe you need to keep, or maybe there's one or two treasured things you need to keep. And this is, again, I know this is a silly example, but it's asking for a little bit more moderation, a little bit more balance in what you're doing. It's as if to even up the score, you're trying to over even the score by giving way too much because people were there for you. Now you're trying too much to be there for other people. And the hermit's saying, okay, let's pull back. Let's come back into this time of alone time, which is okay to do sometimes. Come back to this alone time. And let's see if we can figure out how to balance these two so that I can give in a way that supports my generosity, that supports my abundance, but doesn't totally give away from me. Okay, okay, my guides are saying to stay with that story. So let's go back in here. I just want to hold them in a row because I think this will be even more powerful if we look at it this way. So you see, it seems like a logical progression from we're celebrating together, we're supporting each other, 
what's next? Okay, what's next? I need to give up everything. I need to give up myself. And then we've got the hermit pulling back. Okay, so let's get an advice card for you. Okay, you know, before I give that advice card, my guides are wanting me to talk to you about what self-preservation means and really means. Self-preservation, taking care of yourself, is all about understanding where what you need to feel calm, what you need to feel loved, what you need to feel um, safe. And these are all things that you can give yourself. You can give yourself a feeling of safety. You can give yourself a feeling of love. You can give yourself a feeling of calm. But that's what self-preservation means, that you give yourself these things first, and then you interact with the outside world in a way that preserves these things. And maybe the three things I've mentioned are not what you'd really like to feel all the time, and that's fine. As long as it's something positive, that's great. But the idea is you maintain that positive core before you go out into the world. In fact, the Hermit's Lantern is perfect for this. Do you see how it, the sides are closed? So it's shining its light, but the wind can't blow it out because it's protected. So this is about you maintaining that core of inner light, maintaining your core, and then going out to others. So again, if he didn't have sides on his lantern, then the wind could come in, the rain could come in, outside forces could come in to dim that light. And so the self can't be preserved in that. And a lot of times we forget to preserve the self, especially when we're interacting with others. And especially when you have a lot of water in your chart and you're very susceptible to the energy and the vibes of others. Self-preservation is very, very important. So this is the opposite of self-preservation. This is giving of yourself for the whole. This is the lantern without glass. This is the lantern without protection. But the message here is that in order to keep having these successes that you're having, we need to make sure that you're feeling very self-preserved, that you're feeling very whole and secure in yourself so that you don't lose any bits of yourself in relationship with others. Okay, let's get an advice card for you. Come on. My deck is being funny right now. Cards are sticking together. All right. Eight of Cups, Departure. So we know that you're going to a new phase, and we know that you're kind of rounding out your time here. So I think this is why this message of self-preservation is so important. The Hermit also reminds me of like going on a quest, like an inner journey. And there seems to be kind of a simpatico thing going on. In fact, there's a moon. I mean, there's a moon. Yeah, there's a moon. But there's also an owl flying across the moon. It's kind of hard to see when it's this small. Uh, there's an owl flying across the moon. So these cards are, these two are especially blending into each other. So when you're preparing to go on this next step of your journey, it's important that you keep yourself intact, right? And keep yourself preserved. It's hard to go on a journey if you're not whole. And again, I'm thinking of a silly example. If you try to go on a journey and you don't have enough provisions with you or you're not wearing the right clothes, it's going to be a long journey. It's going to be a tough journey. But there's something significant about this next phase of the journey cancer. There's something about it that is going to be more of a test, be more of a strengthening, more of a growth. This I feel like this is a really special quest that you're about to go on. And so all of this is preparing you for this quest, for this journeying. This may be moving, um, to a different location, or it may be going on a deeper inward journey. But either way, it's important that you keep yourself preserved when, especially when dealing with the outside world. 
Because if this is an inner journey, you're going to need a lot of resources to go into that inner space because I think you're going to be going to a pretty deep place. It's going to take a lot. All right. Nothing to be afraid of, but it's, it's, um, you're about to go on a ride. <laughs> We've also, we're in the shadow of Mercury retrograde. I was just reminded. Um, and that this is going to be an interesting one because it's in Libra and Pluto is also doing something. It's, He's kind of running the show. So we're talking about the transformation of relationships. So I see this really flowing and blending nicely with your reading today, Cancer, because that type of lesson is all about preserving the self, understanding where you are in a relationship and that giving to a relationship doesn't mean giving all of yourself and losing all of yourself. This Mercury retrograde is going to reestablish and help you reestablish some of those lines. So this is the preparation for that. Okay, Cancer, I think that's going to wrap up our reading for today. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy. If you want to leave a comment about how your spiritual journey is going, what's going on, that's always welcome. I am here for your spiritual growth. And so if you're curious about how else I can support you, please check out the description below and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.